We have returned to the backyard and the reason for that is today we're finishing the bike wash station. This project started about a month ago. Yeah. But it got put on hold because we was waiting for some things to turn up, which are now here. And we was also waiting for the weather. It was covered in snow for a long time. It was too cold to paint it. All them things have changed and we find ourselves with a very different looking bike wash station to what you would have seen when we last checked in with you guys. Before we start looking through this lot behind me, we're gonna have a quick recap of what's actually happened and what's changed in the first episode. I was fed up of cleaning the bike in the mud. So this old bit of garden, we decided to transform into a bike wash station. We dug some holes, we concreted some posts into the ground, we built some decking. And before we knew it, we had the base of what is going to be the ultimate bike wash station. As you can see, the station does look considerably different to what it did in those previous clips. You haven't missed an episode. I've basically cracked on and done all the boring bits that no one really wants to see, like painting. Cut the slabs in, that looks a lot better. And I've also put the time in and wired up all of the electricity. So the power connects to the house. It runs down the back and into this socket, which is where we plug our pressure washer into. So we've got outdoor power. That then runs from there into this bad boy, which is a little light pointing at the bike. There's then a wire that comes out of there, under and into the speed camera. <laughs> That's what we're calling that. The water supply is also connected up. It is a long way away from the electrics, but it comes out there. I've left a bit of hose on there so you can bring the pressure washer around. And that is now completely hidden. It goes under the slab and just up there and out the way. I've also removed the bike stand because it looks so terrible. It was some big six by two bits of timber, which I couldn't even fit the jump bike into and the downhill bike. So it was kind of impractical and we're gonna alter and adapt that today. This is where it gets exciting. Within this package here is something very cool. This is, this is awesome. Got opening a big set of doors. Wow, that's really cool, isn't it? Yeah, looks so sick. Uh-oh, car has taken over. I got the drill now, so I'm gonna screw it into place. And then that goes like that. That's well good. Yeah, it makes you look a lot tidier, doesn't it? Yeah, definitely. You literally put one screw in. Cake break. You're gonna do that after every screw? Yeah, so that's about 60 bits of cake in one day. The branding's all fixed up, it's looking awesome. There's gonna be plenty of cleaning, protecting and lubing going on in this station. The bikes are gonna be amazing. It's now time for the next upgrade. Using this spare bit of decking and this bike chain, we're gonna construct a little shelf to keep your cleaning equipment. I just have to work out how to connect the chain. <laughs> I think my answer's just fallen on the floor. The chain fits perfectly, the screw fits even better. We're gonna make a quick, 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 a quick lip around the outside to stop stuff falling out. And then we're gonna paint it. Oh, dude, like, I went so big yesterday and crashed. And today I've got a really sore knee. There we have it. One perfect looking shelf, that's so good. Do we paint it before we put it up? Or do we paint it after? I think we should paint it before. Okay. Cara's in charge of painting operations. She's gonna paint it. And I need to go to B&Q to get some materials for working out how we're gonna hang the bike. We'll check in with you after that. Over a quick cup of tea and some in-depth discussions, we finally come to the conclusion that we actually don't need a bike stand on this wash station. And the reason or how we come to that conclusion is basically, the e-bikes are super heavy and having them hanging off of this post on just an arm is really difficult because all it wants to do is pull it down. So you have to have a triangle. I don't want to drill into the branding. Any sort of maintenance or work that gets done is going to be done in the garage. That is a whole new project. I'm going to spill the beans here a little bit. We're working on a dream workshop project at the same time. So basically this would just be used for cleaning the bikes. And if you did want to do maintenance in the sun, in the summer, you just bring a bike stand out and do that. In the meantime, Cara's painted the shelf and we're gonna hang some of this stuff up and start unpacking things because it's almost done and it's almost time to go out on the bike, get muddy so we can come back and test this wash station out. First thing we've got is this hook and this is for the pressure washer nozzle. 
because I hate leaving it laid on the floor. One time I'm gonna step backwards, crush it. And this is gonna prevent that happening. Gear change. There we go. If that comes off, I will eat my hat. And I need my hat because I've not got the best hair. <laughs> And there we have it, the brushes are all fitted and they're ready to go. And it's crazy because it's not until you start to get all this stuff in place that you realise how ultimate this is. That shelf's dry now, it's been in the sun. We're gonna get that fitted on the side right now. There we have it, the bike wash station is finally fully complete. I love this feature around here, that is wicked. I love the bicycle theme with the chains and it just looks so cool. I'm so excited to use this now it's all built. It's just, I visioned this for such a long time and it's so rewarding when you have a project go from an idea in your head to then being able to see it. And it seems like such a long time sometimes because things just take a long time to do, but this has come out absolutely perfect. All that's left to do is to try it out. So we're gonna go out for a ride, film some clips, play some music come back and we're going to test it for the first time and make sure everything's in the right place and it's all functional and it's going to be wicked i'm so excited a spin to the bikes super fun the main purpose was to get covered in mud and we're finally back home and now i've never been so excited to get home from a ride because we're going to put this beast to the test we're going to film this sort of with a cinematic edit so let's cut to it your ears <laughs> There we have it, not only is the station complete, but the bike is super clean. This works so good, it makes cleaning the bike so much more easier and more enjoyable. And not only that, but the lights have come on now and it's it looks insane under the floodlights. I'm so stoked with how it's turned out. We did install a hook here, so you can just hang your helmet up. And like me, my jacket got muddy, so I can put that on there and blast it off with the pressure washer too if I need to. And there's some hooks on the back there for your shoes as well, so it's fully kitted out, everything's been thought about. And that's it, it's time to end the video there. I hope that you've enjoyed this two-part series, really. They've been quite spaced out, but we've gone from having an old bit of garden to the ultimate, I would say, the ultimate bike wash station. It looks so cool. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, leave some comments below, and I'll see you guys in the next one.